Hey, we are live. Yes, here we go. Not the very best of uh, light. But it will do. Welcome to the Lebanese Tips Live. Tracing specifically, this podcast was, was uh, done for one reason, really. There's one tip that I've got in mind, but there's always a few others. But this will be the blue eyes of the office for the Lebanese Tips fans. I don't know if, uh, I'll put, if I put on a little bit of a Lucky 15s, for example, 10p each way is uh, lucky 15 is three pounds total stake. Uh, or 10p Trixie, which is like three um, selections of horses uh, each way is 80p total stake. So we'll do a few of those. Um, we'll use the banker of today, which I'll mention. Uh, let's kick off because now. Let's see if I can get you some tips, which is the reason why it's important to um, subscribe. Oh, shit. Free to it. I've just seen a selection. Oh, no. Well, uh, it's the tip that I, I, I'm promoting this today's Blue Eyes at the office, and for some reason it, went, it disappeared for a sec. And all of a sudden, I've got a responsive screen. Come on, you. What the heck is that? Right, you can tell it's a live podcast, isn't it? <laughs> you are sharing your microphone. Yeah, that's fine. That's all right. I never see that icon come up. All right, let's start off. The reason why it's important that you subscribe and click um, the bell is because I only do some uh, sudden live podcasts and during those live podcasts, I give out tips that are live. So you might catch something on. Plus, um, you'll find that you'll benefit from it live as well as after because I give out tips that are up ahead so the podcast will remain valid for a while. Um, regardless of what is given out on that day. Right, so let's start off. What we've got here, we've got one, two, three, four. There's four races there. Uh, Southwell, Plumpton, Leopardstown, Wolverhampton. I'm not going to give all of them in this podcast because, quite frankly, I uh, can't be bothered in all honesty. Right, let's kick off with the ones that I've got that are on my tracker that... Um, What's on my tracker? Let's have a look. Yeah. Okay, so tracker alerts, horse tracker. Here we go. First one I've got here is on the 1425. Postillo, Leopardstown, 225. Second one I've got is Soldaro at the 1705 Leopardstown, GMT, London local time. Yeah, we're doing England and Ireland, I think, here, horse racing. Um, and also, we've got Mokatel at Wolverhampton at 1730. Mokatel is an Arabic word, actually, and it means killer, translated to English. But on that, on that same... Right, yeah, yeah. all right. Let, let me uh, bring the subject up of, of, of uh, Wolverhampton 1730 while we're here. Before we do that, I need to talk to you about that. Well, there's another one I fancy as well that should be put on. And there is the today's blue eyes of the office is the how can I say this without um, being shadow banned? This is dedicated to the, the anti war people out there. Uh, this is dedicated uh, in the in the in the form of a horse selection uh, by means of a reason of um, being anti-war, anti-cults, um, 
is de dedicated for jumping on the wagon of the warmongers and earning money off of them. So you anti-Zionists, in a nutshell, this was this is for you, and this is dedicated to you to place a bet on it to place at 3.50 odds. It's seven to one, I think, seven and a half odds to one. This is the blue eyes of the office selection that I've got here. Now, I would I would suggest you um, you could put a bet on it to win, but I would suggest you do a lucky uh, each way lucky fifteen with the selections I've given. And Mukatel, I'm a starman. I'm a starman. Is the blue eyes of the office today running at Plumpton at fifteen twenty? Let's get some cash on that to place. Yeah, I'm a starman is a political statement today being sent out and resonating across the world. It was sent out recently when I tipped it earlier. But I'm doing this podcast mainly for I'm a Starman. This is uh, for those who uh, don't support Keir Starman, the leader of the, um, what's that political party called again? It's a swear word, I might get censored. <laughs> the Labour Party, uh, to which I am a resident and tenant of here in London's Islington since 1973. You are looking at the school classmate of King Robbo. King Robbo to you um, is known as through the wars that he had with Banksy, the graffiti wars with Banksy. There's a documentary on that one on Channel 4, award-winning documentary called, quote, Graffiti Wars, unquote. Check it out. The person who is the talented artist on that is the my school mate? His name is John Robertson. His name was never given out before he was assassinated. And I'm telling you, is I believe. Let's put it this way: I have inside information from someone who is. When I say inside information, I don't know whether that's the right word to use, but he interacted with me, and I've already made it public. And I'll say it again. Um, and I was told not to say this to the public, and I hate it. Yeah, I have a mouth of my own, as you can see. I use it. Uh, in this case here, I'm using the gambling sector by abstracting the doing something that no one does on on the internet. No one does it here. That's why I've been followed by the world's number one sports tips provider, and I debunk the gambling sector using black operation, psychological operation, and NLP. And NLP is a very dangerous neurolinguistical practitioner skill because it's also used in education and, and um, management uh, to advance the skills of leadership and to allow the public to understand what the terminologies and the meanings of words, how words can impact people of all sorts. I'm a starman, for example. I'm a starman. Star, the word star uh, is uh, in representation of the Jewish star that they use. David, I think it's called the David Jewish star or something like that. Um, starman. Um, the word M-A-N, actually, uh, and I'll give you this bit of uh, history that we've come to learn. Uh, in, the, in the World Wars, they used to, um, they used to target all the names that ended with M-A-N, which usually were Jewish. So the word uh, ending with M-A-N, uh, sometimes uh, 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 is said in history that they used to target them and, and do what they, what they used to do. So the word star is significant, and man, the word Starmer, Starmer, as in the leader, Keir Starmer, I believe that this has a co correlation um, and the message that they're resonating today. And that's why I've done this podcast. Look, look, now, so let's get on to a few tips here. Let's see what the bookmakers are offering. Let's see if we could give some live tips now. It's 1407 right now. I've given out tips. Do a lucky 15 on that. I would I would put Starman to place. Um, see if we could get three positions on that. You may well do before the off. There are bookmakers out there that give you... Uh, 
three places. Some some of them just before they're off, they open a market up. So it's your job to do do vigilance on it. Right. Look, here comes McCoy. Looks interesting at the two thirty five. Yeah. Here comes McCoy. It's just drifted out in price actually. Uh, but there was another one at that race that I particularly noticed. Two, two thirty-five Southwell. Why is my screen not responsive? All of a sudden, that's not why. Uh, here we go. Storming home has been made favourite now, whereas here comes McCoy was favourite. Now the one I was looking at was a bit of a biased one. Black Ops, Oscar Robertson. And that's the only reason why I give you this tip out and a dedication to John Robertson. I'm giving out uh, that tip at seven to one, Oscar Robertson. My second in mind was, uh, my initial thought was here comes McCoy. Um, but Oscar Robertson, here comes McCoy. Who knows out of them two? Um, looking at them now, and analysing them, Black Ops, Isle and NLP. Storm, storming home. Significant Black Ops, Isle and NLP word. Out of all of them, storming home. S storming a home. Dare I say what's happening out in the Middle East? Yeah. Normalisation. Normalising these terminology words, all right? Now, I've just made a total decision on this. My bias one was Oscar Robertson. Um, first that came to my mind, where well, here comes McCoy. There was a picture that was annotated by him in William Hill Bookmakers doing something like that. And, and that frame there, that picture, he was referring to another horse. But when I see this race, I thought, here comes McCoy might, might be coming home. But I do, don't think that that's going to be the case. Because they've sold it all last night. This is how I give you my uh, micromanaging. They've sold it all last night as a favourite. It was 2.20 odds. Now it's been pushed out to 350. Um, so really, um, storming home. I mean, coconut splash is the elephant in the room, really. But um, so I've kind of given you that, yeah. The Black Ops NLP is the current favourite, two point two five storming home. Um, uh, that that is it. My preference is Oscar Robertson, and I think the common factor um, is that everybody goes for here comes McCoy, which may or may not. Don't think that it's going to be. It might be a complete. It might be coconut splash as 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 the uh, conclusion of, of today's. Um, um, uh, thing, but um, storming home would be with with it, yeah, you know. Um, so leave. I'm leaving that. Spending too much time on that one. All right, for fifteen oh five Southwell. Let's go through that one here. Um, right, Polish. That is tip I've given out before. Polish have Bibi lives in uh, comes from Poland, doesn't he? Netanyahu, he's a Polish geezer. Anyway, I'm quoting that. Wick Green is a black ops style NLP formula. Um, I'm looking at a drop flight and smiling here. Drop flight. It's a significant. Uh, event awareness, um, Black Ops style NLP formula, and that comes through to you at six to one here. I'm looking at William Hill. Right, drop flight with Polish, with Green. I've given three out in that three place race. Right, moving on to the 1540. I didn't anticipate giving you all, all of them. I don't know whether I will. But I think I will this time because I've done one where I give you all of them in one podcast, which I do, which no one does here, even, even the sort of way I select them. Give me a boom. Give me a boom. Black Ops up NLP formula. 
That's on a 1540 Southwell. Now, incidentally, Islington has been experiencing, I've, I've just tweeted this out yesterday, some fireworks every day or every other day for, for the last month or so. We'll be getting fireworks that have been happening in the evening and at night as well, even after midnight, um, that, that have been constantly pounding the area in Islington as if to mimic what's been happening out in the Middle East in, in, in Palestine. So give me a boom is one of them at 17 to 1. See, the best time to look at these uh, selections are live, so I'll give you my initial reactions, and that's the way I see it. I, I find it difficult to find another Black Ops NLP word here. So um, I'm wondering whether I should be making guesses, which I don't really particularly want to, quite frankly, because I don't fancy it. See, this race that would stick out other than uh, give me a boom, and let's see. <coughs> I don't particularly want to give out any more on that race. Right. Okay. Whoa, let me just grab that word again there. Oh my lord, look at that. Uh, I'm looking at the uh, 15, 16, 10, yeah? Right, 16, 10 Southall. Now we've got one more and then I'll move on and see if I can catch some live ones that are happening because that's what I should have done. The one that, that sticks out like a sore thumb, yeah, Black Ops are NLP. Co cozy Empire, Cozy Kazarian Empire, Kazai, Kazarian Empire. The uh, Jewish side of the sect of Judaism, the Khazarians. Seven to one. Check for a place on that one. Let's match it with Starmer, eh? Put the two together. Let's call that the Lebanese tips Jewish formula. <laughs> Do one on them to each way as well. Right. Oh, gosh. Let me see if there's anything else on that one. Quite excited with that one. Oh gosh, dazzling dove. Hmm. That's a, a bit of an anomaly. Yeah, nine point five oh odds. That's two. That's not a black ops up an LP formula, but it's sounding like something else to me right now. I can't work out. There's the word dozer in it, as in bulldozering. But you got that one last night off of my my tips. Uh, I believe yesterday I tweeted it out. I'm sure I did. Bulldozer, as in bulldozering. It won. You just don't understand the black got side upside debunked up to They really do generate. Breaking news, they really do generate breaking news. I find it difficult. The other one I'll see is Cal, Cal Paga or something like that, 11 to 1. So, Cozy Empire, Dazzling Dove, Cal Paga. I mean, the other one should have been probably our pick. I only give it two places in this race, you tired bastards. All right, okay, I'll leave it like that. Okay, next one, last race here. <laughs> Immediately, I see one of them think that might not win. Arabescato. Arab, Arab, Arab. Well, I don't think they want to resonate uh, Arabs out too much, do you? Um, we'll see uh, what the conclusion of what I just said there is. But in the meantime, there's five in this race. One of them is my runner.
Right. Kilter. The outsider, 19 to 1. Can't see another one, mate. Well, the favourite, maybe Sam Samazu. Samazu. Oh, I can't see another one. Uh, the word Joker, Joker, do Chanel. I don't understand French. I don't know what that means. Perhaps I should Google that. Actually, I don't know what it means. Let me just Google that. Joker do Chanel. Stand by. Meaning. Oh, gosh. It's not showing me. Hopefully, this will pay off. See, this is doing a little bit extra homework. I don't really want to spend. Usually, my podcast, when I'm debunking a whole, it takes about 50, 60 minutes, sometimes goes over it. And I really thought I was only giving out a quick. Starmer, really, specifically the blue, pardon me, the blue eyes of the office. Joker to translation, yeah, translate. It's not having it, right, passing, wasting too much time. I think I mentioned enough there for that one. South will be debunked. Uh, we'll see if it's been debunked. Let's get on to... Come on. Right, 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 right. Okay, so next race coming up is Leopardstown. I've already... Postillo's up next, yeah? Um, it's currently four to one, slightly drifted. Um, what was the other one I wanted to give? So mentioned Southwell, Plumpton. Right, let's do have a look. 14.50 Plumpton. Have I done that one there? And 1500 Leopardstown, I'll do that. those two now, so see if you could catch some, and I'll do, I've done the South World. Right, I'll do those two right now, because they are immediate, and see if you can get in on this live podcast with some cash, and that'll be a nice little extra bonus. Do you have magic seventeen to one? That's the fifteen hundred Leopardstown. And you know what? The elephant in the room is Pfeiffer with a P F E I F F E R. I don't know if I pronounced that right. Complete outsider, forty-one to one among the other outsider there. Forty-one to one. Right, that's one. Uh, Miss D Hunter, 17 to 1. That's two Black Ops NLPs, yeah? This is no bias. There's no personal selections. This is analysing, yeah, in accordance with a Black Operation, psychological operation, and neuro-linguistical practitioner skills that are being used in the gambling sector to program the minds of the punters. You understand that? Right, this one, Miss D Hunter, uh, la, 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 Fides, Pfeiffer, as in Pfizer, maybe. Who, who knows, you know? So 40 to 1 might be included, uh, worth your while, including it in a combination with these I'm mentioning here. They need to clean up their reputation, don't they? Because I've given out three so far. How many are you given here? I asked. These have been given out three. I'm sure they're given out four. But, um, the other one that sticks out is Rox Hill Rosie. And that is not a black op side up NLP formula. Just trying to see if Royal Cave would fall under it, but not quite. Right, okay, moving on to the 15. My eyes, 15.30. Mm. 
Magic Conqueror, 13 to 1. Blossom Demay, 17 to 1. Who's cool people? Oh gosh, and yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to say this one as well. Circus Act, 7.50 odds. It's showing it's got four places here, so there's others like Chip Balls, Pulse, or Paddy Power that might be given more places. And that is how you earn money on this podcast and on all my tips, is by placing the bets to place, to fall within the box. Because you will never see me give a tip out to the public to win and tell you that. And that the reason me give a tip out to the public to win and tell you that, and that the reason why is because um, this is money here, and as a result, um, you when you give out money, when I give out money, uh, when I give out, when I give out money, when I give out tips, I know people are going to put money on that, big money, so, and therefore, my element of uh rocking the boat in the gambling sector is by me picking the subliminal messages that the government throw out to sway the minds of the public and in doing so i generate a place position selection to the public knowing that by doing that i open the options up i also reduce the risk factor and those are formulas to allow a return, a return of a win bet, not necessarily a winner. Well, winner is a is a win bet. A win bet is a winner as well. So, therefore, if you stick to my analysis, if you want to back it to win, that's your problem. But uh, that's up to you. That's your. It's always your decision because from the moment I give out that tip, whether you choose to do nothing. Whether you choose to take a left or a right or go back, it is a decision you make. And the wh where I come into it here is I have enough empathy in me to understand how the gambling sector works, specifically in every sport, not just horse racing, because you give me another sport and I'll debunk it. There are sports selections of sports that I've never heard of and I don't know the rules of. But I don't care. Um, I will be able to debunk that. Challenge me to it. Put, tweet to me on debunking tips and put it to me. Um, and let, let me see uh, the selection that you're referring to. And I will uh, make my attempts to debunk it. Whoa, gosh. Right, who am I looking at here? I'm looking at the 1610. There's a really, really big uh, wild hunt. That's one. 23 to 1. It's a full place race, so there'll be five or more places here offered. I've just had a flood in my house, and it's taken my local council over a week to deal with it. Sad bastards. Right, next. There's a really big elephant in the room. It's not going to happen. But I want you to whack it on your tracker. It's called Tramps Like Us at 19 to 1. Right. I can't. I, I can't see. I can't see a black ops up NLP uh, formula here on this. I could give out guesses. See a stride eleven to one. Chance the Robin twenty nine to one, and I'll leave it like that. I'm not really too keen about giving out. Oh, that was a uh, 
Right, I'm moving on to the next race here at 16. 30. Why is my screen? Let's just brighten up my screen a little bit here. That's better. Should have done that earlier. Right, that's for the day. The company's sergeant, 10 to 1. That's one. You know what? Sammy Smart. Sammy. Sam, S A M. Secret Air Messer. Sam is the name of the Russian rocket, isn't it? Smart. The word smart refers to um, the cyber world. 200 to 1, though. Uh, the other elephant that I noticed in the room with Kadatha. Kadathara, 21 to 1. Um, it is not a Black Ops type NLP. The only one that is is the company sergeant. I don't know what Hortonzu Dari means. Or another one here. I've got Goudelage. I don't know what that means. That's it. I'm going to leave it like that. Oh, oh, oh. Ambitious flow, 17 to 1. There you go. Moving on to the 1705. Uh, Leopard's Town. Maroon's Town, 5 to 1. You can all see, look back, and test me. This is the race that, um, that I picked. Uh, uh, I've got one of my tracker alert. Soldario, uh, 11 to 1 on it. So I picked Maroon's Town. Solomon's Lane. Should have picked that one earlier yesterday. It's covered. I come up as the favourite now. 4.33 odds. <coughs> and also Nazi, dare I say. Not Naz Nazine. 4.50 odds. Uh, that's free. Like that. Uh, you know, looking at it there, one of those foreign name selections might come in with it. But, you know. Sold, Soldario. Soldario is a selection that I picked. I added very recently to my tracker alerts for a reason that I won't go into right now. All right. All right. Last race, Leopardstown. The 1735. Okay, the favourite there, Magic McColgan, that falls under a Black Ops high up NLP formula there. Gosh, they got Gog and Magog, Gog and Magog in that word there too as well. Nothing else. I mean, if anything, Neon Diamond would fall in slightly into it. Uh, okay, done. Leopardstown. Right, let me just do a quick of what the current race is available right now. I've already done Plumpton. Right. What's that one there? Oh, I've done that one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Misty Hunter is coming down in price, by the way. Uh, Leopardstown, 1500. Okay. Right. Uh, let's do Wolverhampton. Right. Wolverhampton, 
fiscal policy, Black Ops are up NLP. Eight point, everything I quote to you is uh, Black Ops are up NLP, otherwise, unless otherwise stated. Bukatil is the one that's on my track and slightly drifted out, I've noticed. Right, yeah, this is the race that I'm going to tell you. Add, add uh, Keir Starmer to White Mist. <laughs> yeah. uh, oh, oh, by the way, I'm a comedian and a joker, all right? It's already out there. I've made it clear. So that all these other laws that come in to want to vilify you and throw you into a stupor of criminalization, yeah? I'm a, I'm a comedian and a, I'm the British Lebanese comedian and a joker and the debunker of the gambling sector. And when I quote things like, I received a call from the president, you better fucking believe it. President's office off of not directly off of him, off of his colonel, who was then a colonel and is now the general of the internal security forces of Lebanon. And it was off of a direct message which came from the president to me. So there you go. A little bit of history to my background. And I always throw it out there because my lawyer told me to yeah, tell the public that's why I'm doing it. Come back. What was it? Cut. Coming back to this. Fiscal policy. It was one of them. The selection that I've uh, stopped on, white mist. White mist. I've debunked this a few times. And this white mist refers to the Black Ops IOP NLP. Mother of Black Ops IOP NLP. It's white phosphorus. Yeah. So now you know. White Miss currently 5.50 odds, fiscal policy 8.50 odds. Mokatil is 8.50 odds, that's three. Now, um, there's a biased one that I'm going to put in there, Granny B, 67 to 1. Now, the other Black Ops IOP NLP is Revision, 15 to 1. These subliminal messages have been thrown at you with meaning, specific meaning, um, subliminal uh, terminology. And that is how I debunk it. And no one on social media does it like me. And if they do, they learn it off of me. And I'm happy to um, help in this uh, pandemic, which is the, uh, the gambling sector. It's a pandemic. Another subject I'd like to discuss at some point with the right people now. I've mentioned enough there. They only showed three places on this firm here. But yeah, get White Misk in a place with uh, uh, Arma Starman. Um, and do your place Trixies as well with the selections I'll give out. I do a few of them. Three pounds, lucky 15 each way. Yeah, uh, uh, if you do five or six of them um, with my selections, um, we should see some kind of fruit. Place them individually to to back the ones that I place. Place them individually because if you do them and they don't fall in with the others that I've given out, you'll lose out on that that I did debunk. And those are my aim for you to capture to debunk it. Pegasus! Oh my gosh! Pegasus of Harry, six to one. Oh, you bastards. I'm sorry. The, the way Pegasus of Harry. Pegasus, yeah, the uh, software, Israeli software. You've got to be careful on this. Um, Harry, you know, new, uh, News of the World. Oh, gosh. Look at that. I mean, what can I say? Unleash hell. Look at unleash hell. Oh, my Lord and heavens above. Unleash hell is a terminology used by that, um, that man who calls himself a doctor. Um, that Jewish man, uh, what's his name again? Yeah, he's on Piers Morgan and all that shit. Uh, uh, Rupert Murdoch shit that people were listening to. Uh, what's his name again? He's well known. Um, the one that uh, uh, was into, oh, I remember him. 
maybe I should just stay sarcastic and forget uh, forget what his name is. Patterson or Peterson, the the uh, psychiatrist, whatever his name is. Anyway, unleash hell. He said unleash hell, didn't he? Yeah. So let's include that with the Keith Starmer and what's the, uh, the ones I've uh, been giving out. The last one I've just just, just given out. Yeah. Look, there's a horse called Discrepancy while I'm here. 10.58, San Anita Park. Discrepancy at 10.38 p.m. GMT London local time. Marina's Tina at 8.30, San Anita Park. Um, I've just noticed them on my timeline, so I mentioned them. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, by the way, um, the Kiss Dharma one, the other one that I think uh, could complement it, or plan B, is something to do with the Irish riots, the Irish war, the Irish terrorism and all that. There's a name called Patsy. This one's got here, Hasty Parison. Hasty Parison, 4.50 odds. That's a 320 Plumpton uh, that might uh, complement uh, Arbor Starman. Right, yeah, so Pegasus Harry, 6 to 1, unleash hell. Fucking hell. And unleash hell to your tracker alerts because if it doesn't perform today, it might do over the weekends because that is a word that they want to maximally pump out, yeah, as a good thing. And watch me debunk the gambling sector. Watch me. And all that I give you on these podcasts and on others to your tracker alerts. Why? Well, you might win. Nah, nah. Because the selections I give you will repeat profit margins again and again to place. In the same way as King Robbo, John Robertson, used to perform his art, his graffiti art, in London's underground. In England's London underground, where over 8 million commuters go in the morning and in the evening a day, every day they were going to see his artwork. And he got that message out. And boy, uh, only the other day I tweeted out uh, Mastermind's questions. I don't know if you ever used to watch Mastermind. Mastermind. Well, he asked a question about Kid Robbo. He was asking who it was. And there you go. It just goes to show, or was it uh, Banksy? He mentioned Banksy. Anyway, right. That description there resonates to how I debunk the gambling sector. Those place positions are going to be seen by millions and sometimes billions. Um, so in that, you understand why I tip the public for a place position. Because the government have a, an agenda, a subliminal agenda that they want. To have, for example, for example, I'll give you an example in the elections, um, or to sway opinion of a, a confrontational government foreign policy, like unleash hell. <laughs> Do you understand? I'm not, I'm laughing, but it's not fucking funny. Do you understand how sometimes I produce breaking news of things that are going to happen? And I've debunked it on a horse race. That's the why I push it out to the journalists to make them understand. And we're jumping on the wagon of these Zionists today. So let's see if we can make some money for everybody. For everybody. <laughs> you Zionists and anti anti-Zionists as well, for that matter. You're going to make it anyway, whether I like it or not. But to you anti-Zionist, my enemy, <laughs> I hope you lose. <laughs> Right. Uh, right. So we we pick Unleash Hell, Pegasus of Harry. <laughs> the love of those two come in a reverse forecast. There's a free place race there. Scarabados, 23 to 1. Pick three there. Well, next race, 1830, Wolverhampton.
and was trying to swift through these, by the way. Took too much time. Hardman, 23 to 1. Sergeant Legacy, Sergeant's Legacy, 31 to 1. Angel's Cool, 41 to 1. Mrs. Trump, 17 to 1. There you go. 1900, Wolverhampton. Mossad's Legacy, 6.50 odds. Moe's Legacy, yeah. Restricted, 10 to 1. Show Boots, 81 to 1. That's three. Show Boots. And more gin, please. 23 to 1. I've given you those selections. You will find that a lot of the time, you will get reverse forecasts come in and even try cast that produce lud ludicrous, ludicrous odds. Ah, well, I don't normally mention favourites, but I couldn't put you off. Havana Azam, uh, three to one there on the uh, 1930. And I'll go into the Black Ops IOP NLP now. Captain Kane, 13 to one. Fair Mac, 15 to 1, that's 2. Gifted Angel, 9.50 to 1, that's 3. So I've given you those three there. As Black Ops are NLPs, and Havana has, um, is a personal biased favour. Uh, don't mind, I don't give out favourites, but I will mention them where I see fit. Uh, um, and I'll quote to you what's biased and what's not. Otherwise, I'll just be like a cabbage patch tipster, get, make it guess, guess it works. Um, I am an event, just like an event stockbroker or financial advisor, I am also an event tipster. Yeah, and debunking the back up side. So NLP. And talking of which, moving on to the the eight o'clock Wolverhampton, one before the last, one before the last race this evening, horse race. Welcome if you joined us. Should be uh, doing lucky fifteens each way. Trixies with these selections I'm giving you. Working them in your tracker alerts because they will generate profit far more than your average tipster will give you tips, and you using them to make profit. Now, kinky boots eleven to one. Basholo. I mean, I don't know what basholo means, but the word bash, as in bashing. Right, we'll be stuck with uh, with this race. We'll go four places as well, or it? I mean, even Bachelor is not. Dr. Mozart, seven to one. The Tron, four point five oh odds. Uh, Ellie, uh, Melly's flyer. Uh, uh, actually, I'm not too sure if the Rolls Royce is here to advertise 
with Captain Bentley, the complete outsider, 50, 51 to 1. All right, I'll move from that race um, on to the last. Liberty Mountain, 17 to 1. Oh, there was one that. Ah, oh, they made it a non runner. R Rose F Fandango. Whack that one on your track. Okay? It's not a uh, Sire Black Op NLP. Someone had mentioned it. And uh, I'll leave it like that for now. So, Liberty Mountain. I don't know what Al Geed. G H W A L G H W E D means uh, it sounds almost Arabic, but I can't understand it. So Liberty Mountain, Unico, 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 Unicorn. Yeah, five point five zero odds. That's true. There's the only two I can think of. There you go. Let's hope I've debunked the last race. I offer it three places at best. The other side, 81 to 1. Leaving it like that. We've debunked. Who have we forgot out? I believe we've done it all, haven't we? Yeah, I think we've done it all. I'm going to have a little talk in a second about the uh, Cheltenham. Going to need to do some... Uh, Some selections for you. I think I've gone through them all, you know. Let me see on my uh, tracker alert. Uh, sorry, on my list of selections, I've somehow annotated 1006 Santa Anita, Prince Pran Prince Prance a lot with Stay on the Fence. Yeah. Uh, Clever Clover. I mean, uh, Sal Satian. Sal Satian. Well, gosh, sounds like Satan, doesn't it? I don't know what that means, but my eyes were on Star on the Fence, and if if anything, Prince Prance a lot. Uh, what else? Mar uh, I've given that one out. Yeah, I think I've done done everything there. We do a little reverse forecast on Mukatel on Granny B and also White Mist on Granny B, yeah? Well combine them in a tricks with what I said earlier. Very risky. Yeah. Cheltenham. You know I do well on Cheltenham. My name always gets up there. Every time results are mentioned, you'll find that on the hashtag of that world class race, Lebanese tips, refugee crisis, punch them up. But then again, saying that... Um, some of those uh, have been shut down accounts. Uh, right. Okay. So, in the past, Cheltenham. Yeah. Uh, I have, uh, I'm going to be straight up. Yeah. I'm looking to make money on this for the first time in Cheltenham if I can. Um, and I'm going to do a private podcast for the audience of Lebanese Tips, which is a global audience that's been established since 2012 onwards. My tracker alerts has generated some world-class horse, horses that have been nobody when I had them on my tracker alerts, and they've come in 
year after year, year after year, again. And in between generating some fantastic place selections. I only update world-class selections on my tracker, with the exception of this year changing it to um, include Black Ops PSYOP NLP. So can you imagine just by doing that and applying it this year? And uh, one of the things I always want to achieve is the combination reverse forecasts, tricasts, um, in a world-class race. And I've done that before a few times, and they are ludicrous. Um, if, if you capture them, you can uh, achieve literally 20, 30,000 pounds in some of them, uh, uh, sometimes more. Hmm. So I'm going to do a private podcast, and I'm going to charge a lot of money, hopefully, for it. And I'm going to give you a guarantee of whatever you pay for the um, the service that I offer. If you don't make a profit from it, I will refund that amount. As simple as that. That's the way it is. So people out there who want to pledge to be, if you want to be put on a list, um, contact me, Lebanese tips at hotmail.com. Yeah, or check check me out on my YouTube podcast. You've got contact details there, or message me on one of them, and we'll move on from there. And uh, I've got someone out in the Middle East at the moment, I'm trying to bring back here, and I want to bring back here if I can. And I need to put some money together, and I haven't even got a passport. So there will be a podcast coming out. I'll be charging. How much do I want? How much do you want for me to debunk the whole day's race of England and Ireland, for example, and Cheltenham coming up over the next couple of weeks? Or is it next week? Yep, next week. Tuesday. All right. So you have a podcast that will debunk all the England and Ireland horse racing. Or each race will have first, second, third or fourth, for example, like today. I will give you tips for each of those positions that are offered. And I'll do that on every race. And that is a lot of tips. Yeah. So you understand that the, the fee that I'm going to charge is worthy of far more than that. You'll be making a lot of money on that podcast. And so, therefore, get on the list, DM me, tell me what you're after. If you want a weekly tips to be given out, ask for it. If you want weekend tips to be given out, ask for it. If you want a day selection of tips on a specific day, message me. It's the first time I'm doing this like this. I don't have a platform other than here on my podcast, but I do know that um, my Twitter, uh, the tips that I've given out, I'm getting hundreds and hundreds of interactions. So I am seeing, I am seeing um, several hundred, each tweet I make, several hundred people are seeing it. So it is getting out there, even though I'm shadow bound. And I'll give you, shall I give you one tip for a head? No, no, I won't actually. I'll reserve that because it's not fair on the people who are going to pay. Right. I bid you a good day.